Hiya, and welcome to Trending. On today's show, we'll be getting the legal lowdown on the super injunction Twitter controversy. But first, here's this week's trending headlines. Microsoft has bought online video calling service Skype for $8.5 billion. The largest deal in Microsoft history will see the software giant add Skype calling to a variety of its products, including Xbox Live. But as Microsoft expands into new arenas, its dominance of the home computing market could be under threat from a familiar foe. Google is taking the wraps off Chromebook, its new laptop which encourages users to do away with software such as Microsoft Word and use Google's web applications instead. Twitter had its busiest day of traffic ever in the UK on Monday. The clamour to find out which celebrities had obtained super injunctions meant that one in every 200 UK web visits was to Twitter.com. So that brings us to this week's trending talking point, the trouble with super injunctions. The gagging orders ban journalists from writing about celebrities' misdemeanors. But Twitter users have made a mockery of the law by posting them in their droves. Media lawyer Steve Kunselwitz tells us more. Yeah, tw- Twitter is uh, is very much making a mockery of the super injunction. Um, the, you can get all sorts of legal recourse in relation to social media content from the court. What the court can't stop, of course, is people hiding behind a fake domain name, people spoofing their email address, going through a proxy server. If you can find out who's behind um, a Twitter account like Injunction Super, then you can actually take some fairly nasty action against them. If, for example, if you've got a super injunction out, uh, somebody knows about it, somebody reveals the details, you can go against them for contempt, but you've got to find them. And the person who's got the, the super injunction has actually got to push the court to do something uh, on the contempt court point. So the, the court's got a lot of work to do to find the way around them, um, but the, the key message is that you know it's only a matter of time before um, online law, uh, offline law catches up with online behaviour and somebody sooner rather than later is going to face some pretty serious action from the courts for this kind of activity. Before we go, let's have a quick look at the rising searches on Google this week. Surprise, surprise. Twitter super injunction was one of the top search terms, up more than 5,000% in the last seven days. And Roger Hargreaves, the Mr. Man creator, leapt up the search rankings after Google featured his illustrations on its homepage. So as you can see on the screen, here's the top 10. Roger Hargreaves at number one, Twitter at number two, Kelly Brook at number three, up 700%. Eurovision at 4, up 200%. Mother's Day, up up 200%. Euro Millions, up 140%. NatWest Online Banking, up 80%. And at 8, Cool Mass Games, up 60%. Number 9, Travelodge, up 50%. And finally at 10, Bite Size, up plus 40%. That's all from us here on Trending. You can follow more stories on the Drums homepage. Follow us on Twitter if you'd like to contribute to Trending. That's at Wallet Video. That's all from us. We'll see you next week. Ta-ra for now.